sign up a new book by royal expert Robert Lacey entitled Battle of Brothers has unveiled a fresh wave of alleged revelations about the strain. The pair are thought to have endured a bitter rift in recent years that reportedly stems from William's warning to Harry about not rushing into his wedding with. Since the couple's fairy tale nuptials in 2018, it seems the brothers' friendship has suffered further blows leading to showdowns and stubborn snubs, according to Robert, who is the historical consultant on Netflix series The Crown. Here are just a few of the juicy nuggets unearthed in the latest book to rock the foundations of the House of Windsor. William refused to meet Harry for lunch before the famous Sandringham summit in January. The Queen famously summoned Harry to Sandringham in January this year after he and Meghan dropped their bombshell news about quitting their official royal duties. She also requested for Charles and William to be present, providing the perfect opportunity for the two brothers to meet face to face beforehand and establish some common ground. Related articles. Related articles. However, in his book, Robert claims that William was still feeling so enraged by what he saw as Harry's betrayal that he turned down an invitation to have an informal lunch as a family before they begin the more serious business of working out the logistics of Harry and Meghan's departure from the monarchy. Robert says, the Queen had suggested the family should gather for lunch before their big powwow in the library that afternoon, but William refused his grandmother's invitation. He would obviously turn up at 2 p.m. for the meeting, he said, but he only wanted to talk business. Friends of William have speculated that he was so furious with his younger brother that he would not be able to endure the hypocrisy of smiling at him over lunch, but this has never been confirmed by the prince himself, says Robert. William disapproved of Harry's prima donna decision to conceal details of Archie's birth. William and Kate have stood on the steps of the Lindo Wing at St. Mary's Hospital in London three times now to give the world a glimpse of their newborns. But Harry and Meghan wanted to do things their way ahead of the arrival of their son Archie. This included details of where he was born and who they had selected to be as godparents. Robert writes, William did not think too highly of Harry and Meghan's prima donna maneuvers to conceal the birth of their son. He and Kate failed to visit the new arrival for a full eight days. It was the choice to withhold information about Archie's godparents that really riled William. Robert adds that friends of William suggested he could not comprehend how such a basic matter of constitutional principle had been misunderstood. He goes on to say, what does such bizarre and paranoid behavior indicate about the parents involved? One thing we may conclude is that Harry and Meghan had developed an exaggerated idea of their own importance. Harry and William had a showdown over Meghan's Forces of Change Vogue edition. Meghan isn't the first royal to get involved with British fashion Bible Vogue. The Duchess of Cambridge and Princess Diana have both appeared on the cover. But Meghan, with her blogging background, asked if she could edit the special issue and spent months working with the team during her pregnancy. According to Robert her efforts weren't appreciated by all the royals and brothers William and Harry had a showdown about it. He describes the incident as another classic Harry explosion, followed by a further, even deeper rift. He adds that the row led to Harry and Meghan deciding not to join the rest of the royal family up in Scotland for their annual summer break at Balmoral. Chelsea Davy and Cressida Bonas both dumped Harry because they were spooked by the idea of being a royal wife. Harry is known to have dated a string of beautiful women before he met Meghan. And two of them, according to Robert, both broke up with him because they simply couldn't bear the thought of becoming a princess. Chelsea Davy and Cressida Bonas were, according to Robert, were both put off by witnessing the media attention surrounding William and Kate. Chelsea told a friend she could never make the sacrifices Kate made after marrying into the firm, while actress Cressida was completely spooked when she saw Kate and Prince George stepping off a plane to face the world's media. The Queen really did have a few sharp words with Harry over Meghan's Ciara Gate. Everyone is now familiar with the account of how Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, was disappointed to learn that she wasn't allowed to wear her glittering tiara of choice picked out of the Queen's own collection. Insiders claim that her husband-to-be told his grandmother, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. According to Robert, the Queen was very quick to cut him down and responded, Meghan cannot have whatever she wants. She gets the tiara that she's given by me. Her Majesty had big plans for Harry and Meghan. Robert says that the Queen was actually extremely understanding of her grandson's aversion to the spotlight having experienced similar feelings in the early days of her marriage, before her coronation. She got a taste of the normal life when her husband Prince Philip was serving in Malta, 
between 1949 and 1951. Related articles, related articles. As such, Robert says that she suggested Harry and Meghan take a year or two out of their royal duties when they were in Johannesburg in 2019, with Africa mooted as a possible location for them. Sadly the idea never came to fruition as the Sussexes quit the monarchy before plans could be put in place. Battle of Brothers by Robert Lacey, William Collins, is out today.